Hi, my dear Scorpios or the Cross Watchers or whoever's getting this message. Um, I just feel like I needed to say this, okay? Um, I'm really, you know, when I do my reading, it's so emotional sometimes for other people to hear. But please understand, I'm only saying this for how to, to help you heal. Um, if I could take away your pain and, and put it into the ground, I would for you. Uh, my dear friends and uh, family of Scorpios out there in the world, um, you know, just having this close, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation here. Um, my heart really goes out to you. Um, I know that you have been treated very wrongly, very badly in the past. And when I saw the strength card today, I really want you to focus on being strong for yourself, Okay. I n never usually make these type of videos, um, but I feel like just for you, Scorpios or um, cross watchers, whoever you wa whoever sees this video, I just think that you know sometimes in life, you know, it goes wrong. We want to always think that life is going to be perfect for us, even if we're in the past, even if we're angels on earth, things are still going to go wrong, and we ask why. Well, the journey of life starts with some time of understanding about transforming ourselves, especially for Scorpios. We're always going through transformation. And, you know, as human beings, we are supposed to become better than greater than ourselves that we can ever imagine. The spirit that you have inside you, our bodies are just a shell. It's the spirit that counts right now, my friends. It's the spirit of the universe, the spirit of God, trying to reach to your soul, to, to, you know, to make you become spiritually awakened. Because for so long you have been asleep about things that's going on around you. Sometimes people um, you know, are so greedy about money, for example. They want all the money. They just want to be highly celebrity style and live this rich life. But that's not the answer. Because look at celebrities. They're struggling too in their lives. They go through hardships just like we do. Money is not the answer. And sometimes we don't understand why people come into our lives to teach us a lesson. Why do we need these lessons? It's because it's to teach us to grow stronger. It's to teach us to get better within ourselves. We are only guaranteed here on earth just a little bit of time to spread our wings and fly. Yes, I understand people have hurt you. There's not a person I have not spoken to in thousands of people. Um, since I started my YouTube channel, um, I've probably received over 10,000, maybe 15,000 comments regarding how hurt they are. So I want you to understand you're not alone in this universe, but the thing is, I want you to heal, and then you take your, the power lies inside of you to go out and make a difference in the world. Help other people that has hurt, you know, that is hurting. Volunteer at hospitals. Do something that's soul-searching, awarding for you. Rewarding to yourself. Um, some of you maybe can't do that. You know, um, maybe we don't understand why people do us wrong. And you might not never understand. But that should not be able to take away your happiness. It only is supposed to disappear for a little while. So I ask you if you're suffering and you feel like you can't get out, reach out to someone, whether it's a therapist, whether it's your best friend, whether it's your, um, someone you can trust, and even me. I would love to, you know, I'd love to help you, and I've been there, okay? I have been, even from childbirth, it seems like my mom, so it, it's been a journey for me, too. Nothing in this world is easy, but the greatest thing is how to love people, how to give that love back, and how to spread it through the world to make a better place. That is your purpose. Your purpose is to make the world better. And I know you have suffered. I know you have cried a thousand tears. I can fill up the Pacific Ocean. I know it has hurt you. And I'm sorry that these, there are actually bad people in the world. There are really, really, really some bad, nasty people in the world. Cruel people. 
We sit every day on TV. But you still have you. You still have the gold heart. You have this magical part of you that you have to say enough is enough. I don't want to cry over this person that was not even worth my air in the same room with me. They will get their karma. It's not about them getting away with it. I don't want you to feel like someone has hurt you. They're, they're getting away with it. No. Okay, nobody gets good out of doing somebody wrong. When you hurt other people, it will come back on you. But when you give out that goodness to people, when you're hurting, that's a, that's a, you are now becoming an earth angel. Okay, let me say that again. When you have been hurt or you're hurting, but you can still be kind and love other people and help other people, that's a special person in the universe, and they're watching. They know. They know your heart. Mm -hmm. You might not feel like things are going well for you, but maybe financially it's not. While other people are looking for food. You have to love yourself more than any person in this world. And you have to pray every day and look at that sky and pray to the universe every day. You have to get your soul right. Yes, it's hard to forgive someone who has been cruel to you. It is. And it's a hateful feeling. But you know what they did is to spread the hate towards you. And you put it inside of you. But don't let that change who you are. Don't change who, don't let it change your character, your well-being of your soul, of who you are. Scorpios and cross watchers, or whoever needs to hear this message, this is not who you are, and you know that. You know you deserve better. And if you want better, you're going to have to change to be better. You're going to have to transform. You're going to have to get out of the bed, motivate yourself. You know, go after that job you want. If you don't have enough money, work two jobs. If you're a single mother, you don't have to deal with an ex like that. Go gray, walk, gray rock. Google, Google that. Um, gray rock. You just talk to the ex when you need to talk to them. And that's it. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't owe them your happiness. And you gave it. The reason you're feeling bad is because just like me, I gave my happiness into someone else's hands. And I couldn't understand it for a long time. How can someone be so good to someone and they turn around and stab you in the back? It's because you had to go through a spiritual awakening. And a new journey starts for you as soon as you heal that heart and heal your soul. The universe doors will open for you. It might not be in the way you think. It might come into part of, you know, healing you in health. Maybe when you pray, that prayer comes true. You might not get the person that you want back. But who would want someone? I want you to hear me. Why would you want someone back who deceived you, has hurt you, has cheated, that lied, backstabbed, did cruel, intentional things on you? you got to wake up from this. You gave your power to a person of a demonic entity I'm just trying to help you clean your soul here I can only do so much as a guidance to you but you can't just wallow in this self-pity and feeling bad about yourself every single day I do feel for you but in a time you have to understand this is a process it's not going to cure itself overnight And you have became angry, just like the demonic entity that you were with. No, you didn't deserve it. You didn't know. But now you do. So you have to let this go. Rise above, Scorpio. Become the phoenix. Become the phoenix empress or the phoenix emperor. Rise above all this. Look down on it and put it in the past. You deserve better. You really do. And if I believe in you, then you should at least believe in yourself that you can get better. 
flip the switch, love yourself, go out into the world and do what's best for you. This person doesn't deserve your heart. This person doesn't deserve your love. And that's how great of a wonderful person you are because you handed that person your happiness and your love and your heart, your finances. You just wanted their love back. But look and search inside yourself and you will find the greatest love is within you. It's not with other people. They can't complete you. But the moment that you let go of this, it's like a whole new world will start for you. Little at a time. Baby steps. Take your baby steps to heal. But I love you, Scorpios. I love all the people who's watching this. And, I'll, and together, uh, we're stronger together, okay? We're stronger together in this world than apart. Be on the, good, uh, be on the spiritual awakening team. So that's what I'm going to say to you. Um, I love you. I'm going to go pray for all of you. I ask that you pray in whatever religion you're in. And go forth and make the world a better place. Go volunteer at a children's hospital. Go help the homeless people. Go talk about a domestic violence shelter. Go help someone. It will actually help you heal. Even make your own YouTube channel like I did and just start spreading the message to get better. I do tarot to give you the guidance to help you understand what is going on. But at the end, you have your free will to choose. Now that you know the person that you were with was bad and horrible and evil, close that door. I know it hurts you. I have been to the bottom and I had to struggle, and I had to get back on my feet and become the phoenix. And you're going to have to go through that process, too. I love all of you who's watching this. Um, thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the people that I have met. And thank you to all the wonderful comments you give me. I couldn't ask for better people. There are great people in the world just like you, me, and the other million I have came in contact with. So if you need to share this message, somebody you can, but, but this is just, um, something I wanted to do because I'm seeing a lot of, you know, hurt and thank you for sharing with me. Thank you for being vulnerable with sharing your stories with me. I definitely take that to heart and I hope to help you. So make sure, um, just leave me a comment. Let me know that how you're doing. I hope this comment, um, this video resonates for you. Um, it's a personal message for me, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, okay? And uh, but anyway, I hope that you, um, each day you wake up and you see the sunrise and the sunset and whatever. Make it a beautiful day, okay? Just make it a beautiful day. And I'd love to hear from you. So I'm going to say goodnight. <laughs> so thank you so much, and, um, and I will pray for you, and I'll see you on the channel, okay? Thank you. Sending you love and light. Bye. <laughs>